Discretion is advised. Happy Monday. You are listening and or watching Pwncast. This is episode 144. We are in patch 7.1.5. Tonight, we are going to be talking all about patch 7.2. Going to give you guys a nice summary of everything you can expect. Uh, Nighthold reactions, not from me because I'm a casual and didn't raid. Uh, Patch 7.2 is already on the PTR. Too soon? Well, we're going to have a nice topic of discussion on that very subject. We have that and much, much more. So make sure you guys stay right here. You have crossed into the world of the dead in search of answers. Amongst the Azeroth elite, there is a group that defies convention. A group that stands in the face of trolls and doesn't flinch. A group that strives on unity, trust, and unwavering resolve. A group that eats tacos. For the players, by the players, we bring you... She can start a revolt with a chaos bolt, Bell, the Pwncast Vanguard. The wolves whose howl can signal death's coming, Lycan. Snap back and get faster for the pet battle grandmaster, Gemma Banks. He's sharp as a dagger with that dapper swagger, Secret Sauce. We bow to no one. We are Legion. We are Pwncast. So, we have reached that part of the show that is so dear to me where we get to have these intimate moments, just you and I, before the boys come in like a wrecking ball with all their hats and glasses and conversation (laughs) and all the things that make us a truly unique and fun experience to listen and watch. Trading card? All right, they're unmuted. Uh, See, you you guys weren't even muted that long. Look, it's the original Hearthstone. You're the original what, say what you said slash dance what is that yeah it's a uh, i don't know it's the dance party we never got yeah it's a dance party it's a code that oh you can in yeah you can do that to me after the show thank you uh, all right so. so i did bring uh the writers of rohan with me i did bring the monk whose flying fists keep him from being defeated in the pet battle scene jimma banks Ooh. i like are that you, move are you four and O or it's the fury well, I took an L last pet battle bonus event, which I was wrong about. I was wrong. I missed the first one of the expansion. That was the week before BlizzCon. Unrelated to that. I know I people left comments, and I was just like, oh, yeah, oh. you left, like, earlier, right? Well, I had time that week. I just wasn't paying attention to the week in WoW. But, yes, I do stay undefeated in pet battles. Now, Come is this me. the same undefeated that you are in PvP, where you play That's two games saying. and you're undefeated? Or is this, like, for real, for real undefeated? No, I actually haven't done any PvP pet battles since the last event, and I did lose a match, so I'm not undefeated. Oh, tragic. Sadly. Who did you lose to? Anybody we know? No, some random guy. They just they always go against some random person that it's like a tier gear. Guy. It's just like a random. It's You don't see who you actually pet battle. I wish you could see who you pet battle. That'd be, like that there. Would, could be kind of cool. It can't be that hard. I don't know. That how way I can whisper it, and like, hey. So it doesn't. I haven't. I think I did like three PvP pet battles. It was an awful time because I got decimated, and it just made me never want to touch that whole situation like, again. Like, like, uh, like one on ones, right? And yeah, like yeah. I got. It was bad. It was a bad time. I did not pay attention to Jimma Banks's, you know, PvP strategies. Your, you know, nine <laughs> times okay. out of ten win comps. Like, I just right. went full retard with some random aspects that I had. But I, mean, I think fun. it's sad that you can't um, interact. At least, right? Even just see their armor, like it's a random yeah. goblin or panda or Make war it, like, game. Make it like the actual person, well, right? Like, yeah, yeah, and see their transmog. I, I agree. mean, in all other type of PvP settings, you get to see who you're right? dueling or yeah, challenging. Yeah, I think so. it would be cool. Blizzard listens to us, so I think they'll put that in the next part. Yeah. I mean, so, maybe. We'll wrap it. I don't think they listen to us, but... Uh, I, <laughs> I did also... Someone does. I did also bring the holy priest who is out-healed by a fucking monk. Secret sauce. What? And a and a tank, mind oh. you. Yeah. Ignore pain. That, Broken. Do that Sorry, again. Ren. Do that. For those of you who no. listen, you really should watch no. because he's showing no. the soothing mist little like wave. The, the... Jim is really good at it, so Jim is probably gonna be uh Miss Weaving Monk for Halloween possibly. Maybe. Don't yes. don't change the subject, Secret Sauce. You got oh, a yeah, I got super burned about... this week. So um I mean, it is what it is. Game's kind of broken, but 
that monk. Monks Not are sure pretty. Aim. Monks are pretty OP across the board too. They're really good with PvP right now. Uh, yeah. I mean, pallies are the the class to go to for heals right now in PvP, but monks are solidly up there with druids as well. So. Oh yeah. Uh, Gather lot monks. I mean, I've seen some really really good holy paladins as well for heals right now, and it's just it's broken. Yeah, so pallies are good. Heals. Yeah, I didn't have shit to heal um, past two nights, so I was just. What was I using? Holy fire and a lot of smite. <laughs> Just saying. So, I saw you on the meters, so... I was... a hey, last night... You just pop uh, all your coolies Star at Auger, the end of the fight so you can Star pat the Auger meters. <laughs> DPS super check. So That's I was the pro way. Ass. That's the way the pros do it. They pop all their coolies at the end of the fight, right before the boss is about to be killed. So that way it looks like they're doing Or something. at the start as well. Like, they just waste it at the start, so it hopefully I comes mean, off you know, cooldown. I've seen that a lot, but time. it's none of my business. So, <laughs> you know, we're supposed to have cooldowns for a reason. I'm just saying. But I ain't one to gossip. <laughs> I mean... I... I did also bring... Uh, I did also bring the paladin who had to bop his warlock. Over the weekend, when he helped me Ooh. move remedies. Oh, that's lots, right. Lots of pain. He was on his steed. I needed Jesus. Uh, and I got to tell you that I knew Rem was my bestie anyway. But I really knew Rem was my bestie this weekend. He was the only one I could count on out of everybody that was like, oh, I'm down to help. Really? You're down oh, okay, to help? Good. I, I didn't say that. So <laughs> No, but sweet. I mean, even like no, people, no, that, no, here, people yeah. that live here. Like the same, that live in the same in, house. In the same house, okay? Like, literally him and You're my... talking about your kids? No, I'm talking about my brother and my brother-in-law and... But did, didn't he just move himself? Yeah, they all, like, disappeared when it came time to move stuff. <clears throat> they were only helpful when it was their stuff. I bet you a lot of us internet friends, too, like myself, like, I'll help you. And then, like, yeah, it's easy to say that when you're not around to help, too. Well, no, like, it's, everyone... it's, even if you're, like... Jimma, you said in chat this week, oh, if I, you know, I would help if I could. That means a lot. That means just as because yeah. I know you guys would be here. I knew if Sauce didn't have work, he would have been down here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I, just I, I'll tell you what, I hate, I hate moving myself, but I will yeah. fucking help move other people for some weird reason. It's kind of a shame. It was shame. just a shit show. And you, as you guys see the new setup, which this will be decorated back here, but it was just, if it wasn't for Rem, and I needed a, a serious exorcism. Like, he literally kept <laughs> oh, me dude. away from the edge of madness <laughs> because I was literally just losing my mind. So it was. Yeah, it all worked out, though. So that's did. good. Now you're all in your new place. Yeah, it looks nice right here because this is the only part that's clean. <laughs> Set up. If I were to pan the camera around, you guys would just see just <laughs> boxes. Everything. We'll, we'll check it out later. Destroyed up downstairs looks nice, but upstairs is just there's it there's crap everywhere. So I haven't um, moved in like twelve years. I've been in the same place. It was quite traumatizing because I everybody was so excited. Like my kids were like, "Yay, we're moving!" And I was like, "You guys have no idea what you're in for." And <laughs> right. then when we started moving, they were like, "This sucks." <laughs> uh, well, so, Elijah was like, "Let's go home." <laughs> I know you. <laughs> My little ones were like, "Can we go home?" We're like, "We you are, we are Suck home. Fish. <laughs> home now. You're uh, gonna learn today." So, not a whole lot of news as Whoa, far as. Whoa! Let's interrupt. What Val, we... don't we have an intro for you? Isn't it a special know, day? Right? For you? No, birthday? it's not a special day at all. Fuck. It, it is, is not a special day. It's Val's birthday. No, we don't really birthday. play her intros, but the warlock who did it some is. warlock move on her birthday. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> That's why all of us wearing football jerseys. Hmm. Yeah, in honor of her Brett Favre jersey, actually, we wore football jerseys. It was and you're wearing a quarterback too, correct, Jimma? That's some yes. luck right there. I wore the Brett Favre jersey the day they lost going to the Super Bowl, so it was really. I had to go to the store, and I was really embarrassed to be wearing the jersey. I'm just like, this is super awkward because the team lost. <laughs> yeah. uh, everyone loses eventually. That's a true the fan, there. though. Regardless, when I lose was totally fly. not going to mention the B day because yesterday I posted on my Facebook that I was canceling my birthday because I don't want to be 35. But apparently, it's upon me anyway. But thank God I have great friends. Everybody posted happy 34th birthday, happy 29th birthday. I was like, yes. <laughs> if I think it, it'll be true. But yes, I did level up today. Um, nice, dang, great, ding. ding. Birthdays aren't any fun after 25. Yeah, I tell all my friends you're like, <laughs> 30. 20. What are you well, well, 20, 21. After 25, 21, your matter. car insurance goes down. So that's the only, Valid. That's the only <laughs> other thing to look forward Yours to. Yours went down anyways because you're female. Well, Unless and I'm an excellent side... driver. Unless you get sideswiped by some random Asian dude in Cali. 
I, I was terrified driving his car. Sabrina was like, Mom, why are you driving his car like a granny? And I'm like, because it's not my car. I had both hands on the wheel and I was like glued. I was so scared. Oh, yeah. That's the way you're supposed to drive somebody yeah. else's car. I just don't like it. It's not yours. Car. Yeah. People just drive like that at your age, Belle. She wanted me to Google a picture of a car that's his model and to send him the picture and tell him that we got into a wreck. And I'm like, that's really mean. Uh, I know. It made me think I've of got cool. insurance. So that's all good. <laughs> Uh, okay, so not a whole lot of news in regular World of Warcraft, meaning live version. Uh, however, patch 7.2 was announced that it's going on PTR uh, Thursday, I think. Which which they w- told us would be happening. So Yeah, it's they all, did. It's and all- we're actually going to have a pretty lengthy topic of discussion at the end of all the news. But what I wanted to do is no, I, wanted, I, <laughs> I wanted to go over the 7.2 stuff now. I need to disclose that I'm going to give you guys an overview of what's going on in 7.2. Then every episode for Bell's Bites, I'm actually going to be going over specific things that you guys are going to need to know. So I'll cover, you know, it, 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 ugh, it in its entirety. So I'll pull a subject like there's PVP changes that are happening. I'll pull a subject every week so that you guys, we can focus on one thing so you guys get all the information that you need. So, so in front of Bell, she has a dartboard of topics World of Warcraft related and she's just like pretty much I just, we're doing that one today it's just going to be whatever one is robust and according to what the other guys uh, segments are I can customize it around if they have a long segment that week segment so what's the segment I actually almost typed one today not gonna lie but I was more concerned about you know the pet that I was trying to not kill again so well I actually <laughs> have a good idea for your segment which we will definitely talk about after the show but I do have a good idea That's for you good. that I think you'll like it's a secret uh, like, it is a secret little, since it is yeah. you know secret sauce With a little dash of sauce a dash Banging. or a whole lot salt bay no <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so 7.2 information. Class mounts, right? They are spec specific. So it's the same mount except the per your spec, it it will look appropriate for the spec. So like obviously a blood decays mount is going to be different than a frost decay. So (gasps) they are Yeah, they are gonna be spec specific in its in its nature, which is nice. That is awesome. That's awesome. That means not every Um, like not every monk's gonna run around with the same mount. And it's kind of cool because you'll know exactly like, oh, that's a so-and-so monk. Yeah, which is kinda yeah nice. that's a wind- Windwalker mount, that's you know. Awesome. Yeah. Um, honestly, cool. I know for the mounts, um, one concern I was having is the, the paladins and the warlocks. They actually do not have wings. They'll just be like magical. They just glide. Cool. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, well, the Headless like the Horseman doesn't have wings, and he just... I know, it's cool, but I mean, I just thought that because on the paladin mount, like, it has like... The armor, it has two little um, additions on it that look like it was going to be wings, but... They missed an it's opportunity. With... Rusters. Ooh. <laughs> Fancy. Now, the class mounts, we talked about how we were going to be able to get those. That is actually going to be the reward at the end of the Broken Shore Legion Fall quest line, which we're going to talk about that later in the show in your yes. Order Hall campaign. Because it's you probably will... attached to the sewer more bullshit that no, I don't want. No, it's not. It's not attached to that at all. You're good on that. It's not attached to that. So, um... Hashtag fan favorite is not going to be the focus. Part the focus the for 7.2 is the Tomb of Sargeras and continuing the story and pre- prefacing going to Argus in... That works. Uh, what I imagine is blowing shit up, but I'm not really sure what we're going to do there. Uh, yeah. Now, completion of the Legion Pathfinder Part 2 will be open for 7.2, which will reward you being able to fly. So in 7.2, we will be able to fly. It's going Ooh. to include Broken Shore questing and a rep grind uh, for the new rep which I know this sucks. So you have to make sure you complete the Broken Isle Pathfinder 1. Then you have to explore Broken Shore. Um, they're opening up Broken Shore. Right. I've seen the flight path. So Yeah, they're opening up. And then Defender of the Broken Isle. Defender of the Broken Isles is the... Is that the new... I'm trying to think. I, I don't know what the new... Um, Come on, boo. You can do it. We believe in you. <laughs> Guys, I'm really tired. I've been up for days. I'm really tired. Uh, the, what's That's the how new, I was last episode. What's the new rep for? Oh, Legion Fall? It is Legion Fall. Okay, that's what I thought. So, um... Fall show. There's going to be Legion invasions on all the Broken Isle zones. So, Valshara, uh, um... All Bonus XP for all them alts. 
Yeah. Basically, our sole focus is going to be taking back Broken Shore. We want to establish a foothold and we want to take back Broken Shore. So when we're doing the Broken Shore quest lines, that whole thing is going to set the stage for the Tomb of Sargeras. We're going to be basically developing the story that takes us to the Tomb of Sargeras to get that completed, which is kind of cool. Um, breaching cool. the Tomb... You have to complete that. It's the Legion Fall campaign. And then you have to complete your class order hall campaign, which will, yeah, it's armies of Legion Falls, the new faction. Okay. So you'll get more um, quests for your class order hall campaign, which that will take you to the Broken Shore. So basically everybody's order hall is going to be their whatever stuff that they got to do in Broken Shore. It should naturally give you the rep that you need. Um, mm -hmm. by doing the, the stuff on Broken Shore. Broken I mean, I would assume so. Well, and it's mm -hmm. going to be very similar to... Um, it's going to be very similar to the... What is it? The Isle of Thunder? So I like that. Yeah, that's going to be what it's kind of... What it's similar to. And uh, PvP zone? Hmm. I, I wish... Be. I miss Tol Barad and Wintergrass. Oh, what? Come on, man. Tol Barad was amazing. Who's Brad? <laughs> Tol Brad. Sorry. I Tol Brad. I say Tol Brad too, so I don't be offended. I say it too. Isn't that its name? <laughs> Does Brad have to pay a toll? I'm <laughs> also, the Legion Invasions um, world quests in those zones will be kaput. So you're not going to be getting any world quests in those zones when they're up. Uh, that makes sense, though. I mean, the... people would farm the hell out of that stuff. Right. Uh, new artifact appearances will come from solo content challenges. So this stuff Ooh. is going to be appearances that are going to be available for your class doing solo content, which is great because it's not attached to something you have to do. You don't have to raid. You, I mean, this is stuff that's just your own personal mm. glory of championship to be able to get what you need. So They should um, make like scenarios like they did before. I the agree. I, scenario, I miss those, guys. I, miss I mean, scenarios, were, they weren't bad at all. Um, but they can't but like, be too... Like, yeah, kind of yeah. like the Mist of Pandaria ones where you had to out-heal or out-tank or out-DPS. I mean, that'd work. That's what I was going to say, but if it's too difficult, everyone would be like, this is too hard, I can't do it. I mean, <laughs> but, but a, lot, a lot of those were kind of hard before, too, unless you had the gear. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, kind of heroics were legit hard, though. Like we When got it first came out, oh, it was so much fun, though, and then it's too easy afterwards. Anyways, come You're on. You're easy. Yeah. I am. I'm, I mean, if you date. <laughs> uh, Two beers and he's done. Okay. Uh, give me some steak and Guinness. I'm down. <laughs> Obviously, Tumas Sargeras raid announcement did happen. Kill Jaden is the final boss. I mean. Welcome back. Super excited. Who's Kill Jaden? I'm confused. Did I say it wrong? Does he pay no, a toll? Right. Did I say it wrong? No, you said no, no. Remedies is just trying no, to be a bully. I was like, today. I've been saying it wrong my whole life then because. Oh, you're not saying it wrong. I was. Um, you're being a troll. troll you. He you're got you. <laughs> being a troll. So I'm actually going to go over that in depth along with the bosses on another show uh, to talk about that a little bit more. And then we'll probably get some the show? more from Remedies uh, in mm -hmm. regards to those bosses. And what the story behind Tumas Sargeras means to us, what that sets the stage for for Argus. A lot of theory crafting, I feel, is going to be in Rum's future. Oh, absolutely. He's going to be. While he's at work. Hmm. Does this make sense? <laughs> oh, I've already been thinking about this whole the whole lunch today at work. I was like, shit. Because there's a want, lot. Do you want there's to read a lot the behind book? the whole deal. I have it. Obviously, you I think have he's it. got it too. I don't I've know. got. I've got. All the stuff on the computer, but I've got that hardback now. I, I need to get You guys one. buy everything. I know. We literally I know. So that, buy everything. I'm going to pre-order the Goldan book tomorrow. Will you read it to us? Secret Sauce's I, I reading wouldn't. hour? Master there you go. Theater? Yes. Do you fine. read the chapter I can us? picture him in a robe, too, with, like, a fire in the background and, like, a fancy my legs chair crossed like, all nice on and the and Twitch pretty. stream, like, hmm, and drinking my coffee. Day. Yeah. <laughs> Like Samuel Jackson, go the fuck. Uh, the new dungeon, <laughs> Cathedral of Eternal Night, is right. going to come in 7.2, which that's also going to be something interesting, and I'm excited to hear what Rem has to say about that in the future because new things means new story, right? Uh, so that's good. Well, sorry, good. No, you're good. Uh, well, the good thing about 
with 7.2 is it's bringing a lot of new stuff, but this is the stuff that's come full circle. And mm-hmm. like I said, there's a, there's a lot, and it's it's all catching well. up finally. So your yeah. nerd boner is like full. <laughs> oh, dude, I've already like splurged in my pants. It's oh like my. this. <laughs> Oh, is that God. the first time I've ever yes. heard you say boner on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a part of my normal <laughs> <laughs> repertoire of uh, funny words. Oh, and all you hunters get to tame flying beasts. I don't know. I mean, I know what this means, but I what does can hunters can they like jump on their pets? Probably not because they can't ride no. their non flying. Wait, beasts. what is they can tame flying beasts? Yeah, they'll so be able kind of like the more of the, like um, the and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they'll maybe. be able to tame flying beasts. So. Like, the like Fantastic Beasts? I want to tame to a them? basilisk. <laughs> hey, I said it right Why? again! You did, Why a basilisk? So if, if I can have a dragon, like a legit dragon. That's what I'm saying. Pet, yeah. I, I might play my hunter a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, the taming beast, uh, hunters across the world are clapping together. And I know, I miss my hunter. They're coming together in a unified fashion. It's a hunter. To march to Blizzard headquarters to get there winged their winged pets once you you, um once you fight the assault on the ground with the legion invasions there's going to be a new feature where you can join a three-player scenario where you basically take the fight to the legion ship in the sky okay i was supposed to tell you guys that when we were talking about it earlier but for some reason it's misplaced in the notes whoa yeah pretty epic right so imagine the what were, you what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Well, I was thinking, so the Legion invasions were kind of cool, right? But then, I mean, it went farm status, and then it was like, meh. There wasn't, like, a whole lot to it. But I'm thinking this was their way of making it a robust kind of situation because they're giving us more than just go and kill some shit. Now we, you know, now you have right. the option to do some yeah, other they, up things. Especially with those invasions, yeah, they, they have um, the opportunity to make it a little more interactive. Not, like, just monotonous. So it's, it'll be fun. Not the word I thought you were going to say. <laughs> uh, super That's too awkward. educated a word. <laughs> Heroic dungeon option will be added to Karazhan. So it doesn't necessarily have to be on a mythic level, which I think is nice mm-hmm. because, you know, guys that aren't necessarily feeling the mythic vibe can go in and do it for Heroic Dungeons and not get the best loot, oh, but yeah. still be able to see the content. You know, I think it's, it's I fair. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah. I've always, I'm always a fan of having all difficulties I'm a fan of... Bring easy to hard, but I mean, don't make everything easy is all. I mean, yeah. some people were born to be easy, Rem. I know, mm. steak and Guinness, come on. <laughs> That's going to be Rem's birthday for me, steak and beer. <laughs> uh, okay. Obviously, we talked about you're going to be able to continue your class order hall campaign, which involves the Broken Shore. New golden artifact traits and more points in all existing what? three point traits are coming. Oh, yeah. So my only question about this, and I wonder what you guys think. We know we're not taking this beyond Legion, but that begs the question, how much more stuff is coming in Legion that they're giving us additional power for these weapons, right? Like, what don't we know about? What's going to happen that they're giving us? I can't think of why they would give us more stuff to our weapon unless we're really going to need it. Um, oh, I think Remedies already has. I know. Are you? <laughs> I know. Do you have something? Well, to I, say? honestly, I haven't looked at them yet. And I, when you were saying that, I saw the. I oh, you got a glance at what's coming your way. And so it makes sense because it, we have to progressively make it more powerful because we're going up against some big honchos. I feel and... like there's more that we're not gonna. They haven't told us. Oh, of okay. course. Yeah. I'm. I'm not going to say what my theory is, but it's... Can we hear I'm your so theory? Through. Is that not allowed, or is it a spoiler? Yeah. Well, it's not like a spoiler, but it's who I think is going to be the final boss. Of, like, who? Thing. Tell us. I want to know. Just... Hello? Well, I Hello? think that's everybody's thought, though, right? Yeah. That Sargeras mm-hmm. would be... I mean, we are going to his tomb. And so... didn't you say that Sargeras has been, like, the guy in the background? Right. He... Well, not only the background, but he is the Burning Legion. Yeah. Interesting. Also, I did throw the Nighthold ending cinematic up on the 
podcast pay, uh, YouTube. I didn't so. see a spoiler tag, and I was just like, oh, my God. To the guy who was like, you didn't even tell me it was a spoiler. It literally says spoiler in the title. I can't Oh, be. yeah, I forgot about <laughs> but that. But I did throw it up there. So those of you that are not Raiders that just want to know where we're going, uh, what right. direction, it is a huge spoiler. I'm not going to talk about it on the show until the raid's been out for a while, and then it'll be a nice thing for uh, Rem to kind of theorycraft with us on. But make sure you guys check that out because it's pretty feelsy. Uh, I felt a lot of things. Now, um, the new faction, Armies of Legion Fall, we talked about that. You're going to need to have that rep to be able to get your Legion Pathfinder, so make sure you take care of that. New world quests are going to be added. Are you ready like for this? Like new ones. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Class-focused world quests. What? That's what I was hoping for, finally. Class-focused world quests. Mm. Like, specific how they shown like what it gives like is it class specific loop that's or is it just the, like or that's one of the things you and i are gonna check out this week when we go to ptr to get some information for there our go. you know oh, what you're doing this weekend yeah. remedies but it, <laughs> no it is class specific which i would too would like to know what that means so we'll definitely go in and see what that means for you guys uh, yeah do some testing mm, but is yeah. that exciting that they're doing more personalized you know I yeah. want them to stop typing my name when an NPC is speaking to me, and I want them to say my name. Oh, but then they, yeah, they still say, like, some random, like, They call oh, us champion. heroes or champion. Like, I need yeah. you to just say Bell, Cadgar, just one time. Be like, thank you, Bell, for saving my ass again. You know how much additional wording they would have to do? I know. You're not getting that. And then some of those names, <laughs> I would just like to hear some of the names said out like loud. Like poopy pants? Yeah. It's like the, it's like the um, read back from, like, the phone and be like, Blah, 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 blah. Bell. <laughs> uh, the PvP brawl modes are coming also, which that is something me and Rem will tell be me. testing as well, heavily. That looks, yeah. yeah. Looks cool. and tell me more, tell me more. That's like the, the, the dungeon-style brawls and, like, the wacky, like, where you can, like, throw people off their mount and all kinds. There's, like, 20 different things that they're adding. So we Well, one will... of them was, like, you can fly around, which is mm -hmm. so cool. So we'll go, and we'll go in, and I'll actually do video. And, and get some good visuals as to what we're going to be looking at for the, the fun PvP stuff. Okay, guys. I like these episodes. These are the ones that I like. Where it gets you excited, on. too? Yeah. Well, and then I like the stuff that I don't admit that I missed. I rewatched the next <laughs> days and I. <laughs> mm. But sorry, what is there more? <laughs> Fell Murlocs are coming Ooh. to Burr, 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 Burr. Legion in 7.2. And I actually have a picture of a fell murloc here. Look at him. Show he has shit. little Illidan wings and he has little Illidan horns. Um, that's all the Picks. that's all the fell, which is kind of weird that that's, you know, it's in the link in the notes too. Jim, if you get a chance to check it out. Does the Murloc have war waves as well? No, the only thing that irritates me, to be perfectly honest, is all they did is put wings and horn on the Murloc. Can you maybe change his skin color and maybe really form him into a fell Murloc instead of just throwing some wings and horns on him, guys? Can we maybe not be lazy? Okay, thanks. Right? Uh, so they'll wait for your submission of that. <laughs> I, for my artist show. rendering, I could barely even freaking do stick figures, let alone uh, that. It, look, it looks like a party hat. I, I also forgot to mention Lunar Festival is here January 21st is through February 4th. Surprise. Keep in mind, you do need to complete the Honor One's Elders in order to be able to complete what a long, strange trip it's been to get your Violet Drake. So make sure that you guys take advantage of that. For the Coin of Ancestries that you have to go and pay your, you know, pay respects your homage. To, to all the Elders, download Candy Buckets. Candy Buckets is a nice tracker and it takes it off your map once you've been to that Elder because you have to do every single zone um, with the exception of... I used to just start at the bottom and work my way up and just too. kind of And now we're here. And candy buckets will make sure you don't miss anything. It's very similar to how it tracks the Halloween treats. So yeah. um, make sure you guys go and download that add-on. That's cool. Now, a cool thing about uh, the Lunar Festivals, they added a new uh, toy, which is dragon a dragon costume. And you get the dragon head, the dragon body, and the dragon tail, which I'm actually going to show you guys. For those of you on the show, you'll have to go find the picture because it's not live, so you can't see it. Uh, but this is the little dragon. I think it's pretty cool because I think it integrates uh, more culture. You know, I'm all about culture integration. And I think it's pretty legit because you could totally have a dragon costume and just run around doing dragon things. Okay. 
Yeah, doing dragon things. If you guys are listeners and not watchers, uh, make sure you go and check out the images because they are pretty legit. Pretty neato. Now, for the topic... Neato in a speedo. Neato in a speedo. Oh, my. Oh, wrong Jim show. I days. feel like Jimma wears speedos. This is an off no. loud topic, but See? I feel like... He sits at home when no one's there, and he just, like, chills in his Speedos eating, like, fried chicken Not sticks. Even close. <laughs> I was always thankful I didn't grow up in poutine. the 70s, though, because they were, like, really short shorts, and I'm a skinny guy, or I was skinny <laughs> growing up, so I was glad I didn't. And shorts. they didn't shave a lot. Short they didn't shorts. manscape in the 70s, so there was a lot of... <laughs> that was frowned upon. There was you a lot of anymore. stuff going on with them shorts and stuff popping mm. out, uh, kind of. Just let that settle Ooh. for a minute. <laughs> okay. Topic Moving of right discussion. <laughs> we'll be doing these new things where we're going to pick a topic every week uh, for to have a nice back and forth topic of discussion. So uh, this week's topic is going to be 7.2 and is it too soon? I know that they said at BlizzCon, the second one patch is off PTR. They're putting another one up. I understand what they're saying. I totally get it. My point of view is... We barely got 7.1.5. Can we focus on that? Can we maybe focus on what we're doing now? Now, people aren't focusing on 7.1.5. People are in PTR focusing on 7.2. They're kind of defeating the purpose of their evergreen content. I think there should have been at least a month in between. I think there should have I mean, been a month. That, that would make sense. To go through when is 7.2 again? I know PTR. When is it going to be so live for us? You figure, Did we say that? You figure if P, it's live in PTR now, we're probably looking right. at three months in PTR. Maybe four. Okay. So okay. we're probably looking at May. Right. Now, the release of 7.2 isn't the issue. It's the fact that it's already on PTR, which to me right. it shouldn't be. So I want to hear well, yeah. I want to hear your Not... guys' thoughts. Jimmo, what's what's your Well, it can be take? like our similar discussion from last last week where, you know, all these changes happened and, and they didn't get it right. So is it is it gonna help them get it right for having it out this early? I understand what you're saying. You don't want us to move on so quickly. We just got the the last patch, right? So I don't really have much complaints or say so either way i would think they just probably want people to enjoy it and maybe test it i'm excited for it just based on the amount of pet battle stuff which we'll talk about soon it's going to be a lot of stuff for, do for me it, it. do you find it difficult to focus on current content because we're still like now we're talking about stuff that's coming again yeah yeah i'm behind the like so like if you guys feel like it's too soon i'm a little bit behind you guys like i did brawler's guild and i felt like my dps was kind of wimpy because my item level still kind of wimpy uh i'm i'm a, i'm behind in uh azuna or excuse me um fan favorite not azuna Surma. Surma. I, know. I forget, right? So I'm a little bit behind. So I don't feel pressured because I've gotten my pet battle stuff played anyway. Maybe not all collected, right? There's still a lot of things to collect and do. But to me, I'm not as concerned. So let's hope they get it right and the content's good when it comes out. Agreed. Uh, Secret, what about you? I mean, I I understand what they're doing on that on that aspect because... It does take time. There's probably going to be a ton of bugs, a ton of glitches, and, and I get it. But at the same time, I don't look into it. Like, we, we talk about it. I might see it on, on the internet occasionally, but I don't, I don't dive into it because I have enough crap going on right now to not, A, just life and work. And then when I do get to play WoW, well, I kind of want to just focus on what I'm, I have going on already. Minus the remark because I don't go there. I really haven't been back on there. Or in there is on secret if I don't have to. But I will. I need to do it. But anyways, um, I don't know. I just... People are going to do what they want to do. Especially, I mean, Blizzard, they've done it in the past all the time. And that's that's fine, you know. But there are people that love PTR. Like, they would rather be in PTR than playing WoW. And kudos to those people because they give us, you know... The information later on on this is bad this is good but i have enough that's going on just in game now 7.1.5 night hold brawler's guild killing rare pets i mean whatever you want to call it i i have enough on my plate mm -hmm. as it stands to not even think about what's coming out for two mr gears or the invasions or pet battles sorry jimmy sorry <laughs> but i mean there's there's more than enough going on as we speak right now for me not to even worry about it. And I, I'm pretty sure a lot of other 
you know, players are the same way. And if it is three months, that's kind of a lot in WoW time, kind mm-hmm. of. Like, we might be saying, oh, yeah, let's bring it on in, you know, when we're yeah. in May. I mean, so. I would have preferred Nighthold to have had a better, you know, time frame for it to be the main focus. Agreed. That's just, you know. It's credit where credit's due. It should be, it should be a huge yeah, focus. I mean, they took a lot of time in the Nighthold, and Nighthold's fantastic. You know, it, it's beautiful. The boss, there's there's real mechanics to this fight a lot of the fights you know and so many people are proud of that again you know hey they brought back a real a real raid but at the same time i've read so many reviews on nighthold that that a lot of people are calling it easy and i want to know what fucking boss are doing that's easy minus you know a first a, the first that's few people that are gobbling up content faster than it can be created these are these guys yeah. that are on such a different pl- level that they're yeah i'm they're shitting I'm in buckets next to their raider. desk. That's I mean, I, yeah. Hots has a dirty room. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I live with him. Can confirm he has a dirty room. <laughs> we're not. We're not going to talk about Hots because he he's a he's a a higher tier raider. Let's just put it that way. And I don't have that time. And I'm I will say patience because I but don't. But you I have the capability. You have the ability because you've done it. I have, and I just I prefer where I'm at now because I feel happier where i am now where you're like the lawyer who made it big and then went back to his home down to do hometown to do pro bono work that's pretty much what i think you i think that i just defined you <laughs> that works i mean i would totally be that guy you know you got to give where you know you got so um but i'm okay with it did you just admit to being a giver did that just happen is that we got that on record yeah really. <laughs> you know how many people i fucking buy lunch for at work a lot what i want to work with you i was just gonna Hey, can we go work with you because I need lunch? <laughs> Sally. But like so Rem, what about you? What do you think? I personally think it's fine. Uh just because I've been testing in PTR even before and in Cata and all that and like there was such a sporadic testing of anything and it opens for, so quickly that there was a lot of bugs. And so I like the fact that they're actually putting the PTR open right now. And it's going to be open for, like you're Next saying, Bell, with like yeah. three or four months. And we're going to get some solid testing. And maybe like halfway through, after a couple of, uh, couple of passes on the builds, I'll actually do some solid testing and all that. And not like theory crafting, but actually moving stuff around and seeing what's going on. Yeah. I just, I think it's fine. I mean, they showed us like a generic roadmap of what they plan to do and i think they're they've got their shit together this time i panicked full wholeheartedly the second i saw it i was like jesus Christ. like i literally was like really but i think it's that's just my I'm, af- I'm afraid i think is i'm afraid i don't want to be no, sitting big, at the end it, of an expansion what are you with afraid no, of i'm afraid oh, of sitting big, at the yeah, end of right. an expansion with no content because you gave us all your cards you you blew yeah. your load too I don't, soon I don't, right i don't think this is all their cards though like I it's not. not even close i i, I say not. i say and this is a very hypothetical like i don't know how many patches they plan on putting out in legion before you know the next the next ex- actual actual expansion i'm saying it's going to turn to like a 7.3 7.3.5 something like that they have a lot of stuff more than likely under their sleeves to to not turn it into you know to mist or you know just let's just say siege or ogre market that's what it was mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. and um hellfire citadel even though i liked hellfire citadel because i had reasons why i liked it but it's just i don't, I don't sit I don't, in there I don't for a the, year staring at the same dragon soul hello yeah you know there there was other expansions where they did the exact same thing yeah. where they just bled it to death and so you guys are saying I need to have more faith that they got stuff. Up I their say seat. do it because I don't know. I, you know, let's just go back to BlizzCon for me. I was pumped. I heard all this fantastic <laughs> news that I've been waiting for to hear, actually in person, <laughs> mind you. But I just think they're they've heard the complaints. They've read the complaints. You know, they've probably been mailed complaints. You know, to their doorstep. I mean, and they probably. Actually, all I that's know is probably pretty true. Do you think? All I know is we've had hot fixes that have more um, filled with content than the past patches in WAD. There's only one hot fix I'm waiting from Blizzard Freaking to do, and I'll talk about it later. Selfie camera. Oh my god! Don't even give me. Why can't you that. tell us now? Right now, um, the se- the 7 a.m. you know Pacific Center time fucking reset, and I'm in the middle of a dungeon and it kicks you out. Yeah, please fix that. 
I Please. love being on a server now that's my real time. They'd be like, what time is this? I'd be like, 8 o'clock, and I just have to look at my clock, not go, uh... Like that's why I've got hours. two. Yep. Yeah, Eastern and Pacific. Same. Yeah, please fix that. Please. <laughs> it's fucking irritating. Fix it we were on the last AP. boss of a, of a dungeon, too, and it fucking kicked us out. Like, Ouch. Come on. I, th- I think my family's dead, guys. Mm. Are they too quiet? It is so quiet, and my office is very open now. It's way more open than it ever was. There's no door. Really? It's is a it loft. Is it way more open than the other one? Yes. Yes. Maybe the way the, the stairs are, like, it maybe does not... Well, and the rooms not, not don't so have the vents over the door anymore, so I don't hear everything oh, that goes oh. on in their room. Like, there's a lot of things that are better about it, but I was really scared because there's it's it's like three times the size of the entryway that it was previously. Ah, like, okay. so picture because you were at my house. Picture that now. Picture that like three times the size. It's a giant like second you walk up the stairs. It's an actual loft versus like Ooh, the house. okay. So, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I, I was really scared, and me and yeah, Rem were, like, going to buy $400 a piece giant human Lego sets for to, like, block off because I was really... I'm still buying that. Too. But I, I yelled I at everybody it. earlier and was like, I better not hear a thing. And I literally, I just was sitting here listening to you guys talk, and I was like, that's weird. I don't hear anything. They're all in the backyard, like, waiting. That they're, oh, yeah. Have you come uh, in yet? So... I so like, I, I do like your birthday meal, by the way. It was tacos. Same. Looks there delicious. is they are gone there was six of them and they didn't stand a chance uh oh, <laughs> murdered and i don't do birthday cake so he brought me cheesecake because i don't like birthday i've cake. never been a big cake eater myself i don't mind it but like i cake eater <laughs> i don't know what the fuck just happened Bear are you gonna share there. with the rest of the classroom <laughs> right Oh, not appropriate. <laughs> I got what Rem was laughing not at. Not safe so. for work. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I'm I'm easy peasy. Let's not make that a thing, I'm guys. I'm So, yeah, 7.2. We're going to have tons of stuff. I'll make sure I go do full coverage in PTR to give you guys everything that you guys need. Uh, you know. So, now. Job. <sighs> I just need to take a moment, guys. We've I've been going nonstop. I just wanted to take a moment and just enjoy this time. Breather. With you, you know? Okay. So, Jimma, what yeah. news from the Pet Battle world? There was no news for a while, but I, I did get some this week. And, and I want to get into PTR and do some testing as well for this Pet Battle dungeon. Um, obviously, with that that's coming up blizzard they really did plan that q a it feels like i didn't really like feel they they planned the q a but when we were at blizzcon and they were asked that question and there's the one random pet battle question like is there any new content and just felt set up after you guys said that but probably um, probably probably was right uh or maybe it was a question they pulled specifically because they had content to talk about good point yeah maybe maybe that's a good point because it it was exciting when we heard pet battle dungeon right so we've got a lot more information on that now we actually know where it is you're actually going to go there's like a pet problem in the whaling caverns right in the northern barrens so you know not every pet battler is going to go over there because they might not be able to handle it it might be as difficult as the celestial tournament so i'm excited for that there's you'll get a quest in, in dalaran that will you know send you to the northern barons to to go into the w- pet battle dungeon there's seven stages the first stage will be similar to like you know you'll kill three pets so a normal pet battle team and then stage two will be a pet boss and, and i think it, it goes three and then boss and or or, or something along those lines right so That's very exciting cool. yeah one thing not to be negative when we think about bringing new player bases in and and keeping people, it's in the well and caverns, and like it's just so outdated graphics wise. So um, maybe it gets a little bit of a lift. It looked from the screenshots a little, you know. Again, I don't want to sound negative towards something that I'm personally excited for. Right? I like challenges in in pet battles. It makes for better video guides as well. You know. Uh, so maybe it's going to get like good. a nice little Botox injection. I hope so, but the screenshots didn't look like it, right? It looked like Whale and Cavern, you know, Whale and Caverns, that that old dungeon. Uh, you guys didn't do that as much on the Alliance side, did you? Is that one of the dungeons? Well, it was because... really, really rare to yeah, yeah because um, I was before always... they added the LFG, it really wasn't, yeah. Yeah, because I remember I went just... over there a couple times. Fucking hated going over there. 
Yeah, we had to always make the journey over there because there was no group finder, right? But it made me think of that Alliance dungeon, Stormhold, or what's the one in, in Storm when the uh, level 20 Stockades. Dungeon? Stockade, excuse me. Yeah, anyways, I don't know why that randomly popped up in my mind. So I'm excited for that, you know, despite the graphics. Um, we'll see how challenging it is. I'll give you updates as I actually get to try it. I do want to try it before it becomes live because then you'll have a heads up on the strategies uh also with the new patch there's going to be roughly eight new pets um can looks like a new rogue pet from the rogue order hall mm -hmm. so i might have to level up a rogue i i guess I, I have to level up a shaman i guess those are the two that i have never played at max level but i believe they both have pets now so um, i'm going to do that and confirm new master tamers and some that are not confirmed um, so some of them have just been seen standing there. You can't battle them yet. So that will hopefully be challenging content or drop some sort of satchel for cool rare pet or something. So again, I'll keep you guys posted as I get more information. That's what's exciting to me for, you know, the new patch and, and what's coming up. What I got to do personally was do some collecting. I mentioned last week that I was going to get back to, you know, collecting those missing pets and, and taking my, my list more seriously. So I did hit. 800 companion pets. I was nice. at seven, yeah, 792 when I started. Some of the pets that I was missing, though, were literally just in, sitting in my bank, like with a row of nine of them. So I was missing some that I could just add. I put them all in my guild bank for like a video or a recording, and I'm very like picky when I do my recording. So I wanted like a solid row of nine, a solid row of nine. So I'm, I'm really weird like that. Okay. Um, so those were easy to collect. I did find out some useful pets and i did find out that a long time ago i said i was going to do something and i never did it i was supposed to buy the one million gold pet uh and i never got around to it so i've been waiting for the mad merchant to spawn i'm going to buy the did i forget to write it down it's, it's the uh oh my gosh what is it? it's the celestial calf i believe i don't want to get it mixed up yeah sorry dur the Celestial, Celestial Calf is worth a million gold, right? That's crazy to spend that much gold on a pet, but I said I was going to do it, and I am Jim of Banks, so that will leave me with exactly <laughs> 14,000 gold on my Horde server. So <laughs> because I don't play there and I've got more tunes there that I could eventually make up the gold, I'll be fine. Right. Uh, so as soon as that you know, Mad Merchant spawns, I guess it spawns every couple hours. I don't know. I just keep logging into. I don't my even know where it would even spawn at. So I think it's the toy shop in in um, in Dal or Dal one. Of, I don't know if it's yeah. So somewhere uh, it's like a little spot, one of the toy shops. So um, and then of course because I was like scared, not scared. Well, I'm never scared. Maybe I was scared to go down to the sewers because everyone was killing each other, each other for those uh, the rat mounts or whatever. Uh, there was the blind rat that I went down there, and I mentioned last week that it's it's a good pet for PvP pet battles. And then, of course, there's the young mutant turtles. It's like a ninja turtle that are just like sitting there to add to my collection. So that was like a free give me pet. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. I did a lot of collecting. I'm personally excited for patch uh, 7.2, whether it's too soon or not. Uh, I, I want to do that, and I'll keep you guys updated uh, with some of my pets. And if any of you guys have like a frosty or a little deathy collector's pet just uh, laying around, you know, uh, contact me. <laughs> collector's edition <laughs> cataclysm. I'll take it. <laughs> I wonder like if you're trying like to get that. people's numbers. Like, I think so. Looking right? for a date already. Trying to be on Tinder? Grinder? Uh, no, six, no, seven, no, five, Fet life? Farmersonly.com? Christian life. Mingle? <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> always the one com. that comes to my mind, right? <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't want any I type think of, petsonly.com uh, might be a whole different form of yeah, pet life. You're going to see that a lot of furry con. Oh, my. Right? Uh, that was I just super never awkward. have those pets. I want them. Will you pay you good money for them? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, what's I, good yeah, money yeah. for you? Like, how much are you willing to pay? Because I'm I willing guess. to find them and buy them and then, oh, like, right. Mark charge up. me a little bit right yeah. um yeah, yeah, interest well the <laughs> it's basically the cost of the collector's edition which are obviously way more valuable right now jimma banks is still even though that banks is on the end of my name we don't have as much cash to just throw around like that but i is guess i would say it all on hookers folks i do not okay that is not a good look at the anyways. smile busted like a sucker uh, right? that's why he doesn't have a girlfriend um, he doesn't need one he pays them to leave oh no <laughs> So many, 
<laughs> hashtag shots fired. <laughs> hashtag blushing. Hilarious. Um, I didn't I'd know Canadians what, you know, turned red. <laughs> right? We're so pale. We. Oh, sorry, I'll stop. I don't know. How, yeah, I don't know where to go from here. It's good. You got me good. There's your birthday present. I'm delirious right now. Do lack of a sleep. Flist, so. A flustered uh, Jimma Banks. You are yeah, blushing. That's amazing. You, are. <laughs> you, you guys are listening. On you right now. Go click over to the YouTube and get a little get a little look at little <laughs> cheekies. Uh, <laughs> it's always worse when they're like, "You're blushing," and then you'll blush more. They'll be like, "That's that's the way it works." Right. So, anything else going on in World of Warcraft? <laughs> <laughs> so, switching gears, uh, Rem is going to. Somebody requested more information on Gul'dan. I think he's going to be talking about Tychondrius, right? A little bit on Tychondrius and, yeah, doing the Gul'dan different threads of... Um, Realities, right? The different, like, there's too many. points in yeah. time. So where do we even begin when it comes to that? Like, how do we even... Okay, well, the first one, obviously, well, non alternate universe Draenor was alternate yes right the one that we went to yes yes and then you have the film which was not yeah. canon at all like at no all. that was different from all two so that was the yeah. real one okay guys <laughs> <laughs> I okay, so saw basically... it <laughs> I was there yeah well, that's uh, true. so the basic rundown for like a quick version because I could talk forever about it. Is he nice it's... in any of the realities you're going to talk about? No, no he's, he's not nice in any, none of them. Okay. <laughs> he, he's, a a, a, he's the epitome Dork. of a dick. So. A dick. He's just a dick. Was so he not loved me, as a child? Me, 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 me. Or the fell corrupted him, obviously. But was there ever a time when no, he was No, it, nice? it was just always his mentality was just, what well, can I gain for myself? Just, just, just a bad man, huh? Typical So the digger. original story is that he was a part of the Shadow Moon clan. And he um, was brought under the wing of Narzul. Ooh. And so he was he was a shaman beforehand. And he was corrupted by Kil'jaeden. It wasn't Sargeras directly. It was, uh, Kil'jaeden was his uh, liaison, pretty much, and his mentor. And so then he, um, in turn, uh, turned on Narzul and um, betrayed pretty much every orc and enslaved them. So you have all that going on, and then he's the, um... <clears throat> excuse me, while he was doing that, he created the Shadow Council, um, which is the becoming of the first warlocks, and then he makes the Death Knights and all a bunch of baddies. So he led the first orc invasion onto Azeroth by the help of Medivh, who was at that time... Um, a pawn of Sargeras. So you have them working together to bring the Horde invasion in. Because Medivh was corrupted also by the Fell, yes? Yes, because of sidestepping, because Eowyn attacked the Avatar Sargeras, and then he his whole plan was to corrupt um, her child, a.k.a. Medivh. And so Medivh, from the very get-go, was um, a pawn. Like like a pawn us or like a pawn, like a pawn, like a, a, a pawn on the chessboard. Like Karazhan chess, know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The there old you one. Go. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he can't have nice but, things, guys. <laughs> That's fine. So he goes. Then you have the whole Horg invasion, and then Orgrim Doomhammer is the the step in for the invasion. Again, this is like a very basic rundown. So, you have that going on. And he, again, looks out for himself, takes off to what we are now on. He goes to the Broken Shore, raises up the Isles so that he can go into the two more Sargeras. He uh, dies because of um, demons that were gone crazy and all this. And so, you have this. You have the, the main universe... Gul'dan, betraying all the orcs, going to Azeroth, bringing up the Isle, and going into the Simar Tomb of Sargeras. And he dies because he's selfish as fuck. And then, you have the alternate universe, 
where he is claimed to not be from a clan. Um, he was be learning to become a shaman, but the the elements um, withdrew from him because they opposed, supposedly they sensed the badness in his heart, and then Kill Jaden came into play, corrupted him, and so again it's still the same scenario with that where he becomes a servant to Kill Jaden and in turn Sargeras. So he does all that, and then the alternate universe is when um, you have uh, Garrosh that uh, lets everyone know that uh, Gul'dan will be betraying them. And so the whole Iron Horde turns out, and then in the end Gul'dan still takes over the Iron Horde. And so we have the fight with uh, Hellfire Citadel, and this is where it gets wonky as hell. So we have at the end with the cinematic where Archimon shoots him into the portal and he sends him to our timeline, Arn Azeroth. Okay. And then alternate universe Gul'dan actually goes to the island, the Broken Isles, that our Gul'dan raised up so that he could go into the Tomb of Sargeras and open the portal. So he already knows, like, the Isles are there then, which is kind of... Yeah, because Kill Jaden was sitting there because Kill Jaden, Archimon, and Sargeras they they survive. Well, they survive. They are in all realities, right? And so they know everything that's going on. And so they're telling alternate universe Gul'dan, "Go what here, do, do this, do right. this." Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And so that's how this all started because it's it, it so blows my mind because you have the main one actually raising it up, and then you have alternate one going there and going to the Tomb of Sargeras. And so we start in that, and then I, it, it's, I, I, it's seriously mind-blowing sometimes, so. You have, um, and now we have Gul'dan in the, uh, Surmar, and then we will have to deal with him, and you, if you haven't seen the cinematic, it's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna need him to get out of my town. You could fuck with all these other places on Azeroth, but I'm gonna need you to leave Saramar alone. Leave my people alone, Gul'dan. Leave Brittany alone. These Where are my people. people. They're my, oh. they're my, you know, my kindred something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You guys know. So... Basically, in every single version, Gul'dan is just a piece of crap. Pretty much. Yeah, he's the epitome of being Who abuses selfish. his power, which I respect that, honestly. I can't even lie, guys. I respect that. He was cool in the movie. Yeah, I, I have yeah. to respect that. I thought it was kind of messed up that he was he taking other people's soul to live, which was kind of, but it was kind well, of cool at the same time. Well, that, well, what just, fell is, you should know this. He just had, like, oh. a fell snack. That's what I'm saying. I respect that. I respect a man who uses his power. Now, I'm not saying he should have used it for bad, but he's using his power regardless, and I respect that. The way I look at it, he used the fell, but he still fell. Ooh. Oh, that was so <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. Of all the punny people on this planet, Rem is the best punner ever. He'll, him and my husband will in, go for just days. Worthy, yeah. yeah, they'll go for days just punning back and forth, and it's just embarrassing. At times, to be perfectly actually honest. quite great. <laughs> what about Tychondrius? What's okay? So Tychondrius sleeping with Jaina, is... not sleeping with Jaina, might be baby daddy. We don't really know. Uh, I think Malganus is sleeping. Ooh, with Jaina. He's a different dreadlord. But uh, Tychondrius is, for all intents and purposes, the leader of the dreadlords, aka the Nathrezim. And so he is in the play like I was saying, in Nighthold to pretty much police and make sure Gul'dan is doing his end of the bargain. But what people don't usually know is the Chondrius is, um, like I was saying, his brother Mephistroth and Anatharian, they run in um, like an oligarchy pretty much for um, the Dreadlords. And so, quite quick... How did you Where'd even you say that word you just said? How did you not have to practice that before the show to even say Oligarcha Malarca? What did glasses. you even say? I was just going to say that. Hello, he no. has glasses. Oligarcha Malarca? Al That's all I heard. A, it's a three-person type of government. It's like Greek stuff. That's it's what, uh, beyond actually the, my education level, apparently. The Iron Forge, it's got an oligarchy with uh, Mordia and... Um, 
Meriden, and what's his nuts? False I'm dad. calling it Alablark of Lark, because that's what it sounds like to me. A uh, Flark or Flargen? <laughs> Hold on, Blarky. Fargen Schwargle. Well, with the thing with Tachondrius is he's the one that actually started the whole scourge, which, if you don't know, Lord or on before World of Warcraft, with Warcraft 3 and the prerequisites, is Tachondrius started the scourge, in turn making Arthas what he is in Wrath. And so he is like a focal point for everything that's been going on since the start. So, oh god, my thing is messing up. Okay, so <clears throat> the Chondrius, uh went to Azeroth and corrupted um, Arthas so that he could become the Lich King, and. What happened is the school of Gul'dan, because of his um, selfishness, died in the Tumor Sigaris, and his essence was kept in the in his skull, and had an unimaginable power for the mortal people. Like no, Illidan's not mortal, but in terms of the power, it increased his power and ex um, exponentially, and so the skull so, wasn't just like a token of his kill. It was like. No, it was literally his skull. Oh, huh. interesting. Yeah. Well, that's... I didn't know that. Hey, that's making a stand right there. I had no and idea. so, Tachondrius, Manoroth, and Archimon are the ones that um, attack the world tree. And that's um, part of the, the lore in Warcraft 3 where <clears throat> you have The Jaina, world tree in Grizzly Hills? No. No, in uh, Hyjal. Oh, duh, I should have known that. I was thinking of the where the fur blogs make their homes. Anyway, not important. Yeah, he was um, <laughs> he was going up against when it was Jaina, um, Thrall, uh, Karen Bloodhoof, Tyrande Whispering, all like the important people during uh, the Third War. Oh, right. right, Second War, Third War. Uh, anyways, you know it's the Chondrius is a big play on what's going on and. We kill him, technically, in Nighthold, but we'll see him again because Argus and the Twisting Nether. And so, it's just a lot of a lot of things going down, guys. You have no idea. So, right the cool thing about all of this is no matter what the timelines are and what the guys that we're fighting and all that, we always win. That's, yeah, that's kind of the thing that's been going down. No matter what goes on, we're going to kick their ass. Like, is there ever going to come, come a point where, like, maybe they're going to blow up Azeroth and we're going to be, like, homeless? Probably not. I mean, it'd be a ballsy like move, but they should, could. should happen. Like, at, at some point, we're going to be beyond Azeroth. We've talked about this many episodes right. because yeah. there's only so much we can fight in the same, you know. Like, maybe we need to be explorers and we go out and you know, find other people. Well, we're seeing the first sign of it with us going to Argus. And yeah. if you do the, uh, the lights heart campaign thing at the very end, when you kill, uh, uh, Velen's kid and he goes, what was it? Uh, he tells everyone to start prepping, the to start prepping, uh, Exodar so that they could take off and go home. And so we're starting to see kind of a glimpse into us going into other planets and other, not really realities, but uh, different Seeing what's scenarios out there, right? The Exploring. World. Yeah. I think it's, it's time for us setting... to be astronauts. No? That's no. Uh, yeah, why not? Off. I mean. But just got head shaking. It didn't really get a well, yes, hell yes. Space cadet. I just didn't want it to come out rude. Can I, I get a no, hell yeah? No, when you're yeah. saying that, I, I was, all I can think about is Major Tom. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. So, it, it's, hmm? I don't remember what I was going to ask. <laughs> I also thought of the second Willy Wonka book. Where they <laughs> oh, go no. into the space from when they launch up at the end of the first Willy Wonka. Oh, yeah. This is why we cannot have any serious conversations because it just doesn't stay serious. We have things on our mind beyond serious real life issues. We're not worried about bills, guys. We're worried about what happens at the end of Willy Wonka 2. No, I'm worried about my bills. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. Credit score is going. Yeah. So, Shout out buddy. to that credit score boy. increasing. For all you listening, 
Good okay. luck. Uh, like so oh. we will have more lore on probably. I don't know. Rem, where do you think we're going to be? On going remedies. The, yeah, right? we're going to hit the lore of your story. What's uh, what work? What can um, we expect next week? Do you have a specific topic that you want to talk about, or do you want other people to suggest the topic? Uh, suggestions and like I did today, just kind of pick back up on stuff that could uh, use more backstory. Piece together, find thing. out where we're going. Maybe some kind of like a quick rundown of abilities, right? Yeah, I'm not good at the essay, but a quick rundown. Yeah. <laughs> Is that funny sauce? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what just happened with that. One. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. He was thinking about Latinos when he said essay. He's like, I did. Uh, guys, for the history in the first time ever of histories, Bell does not have a Bell's Bite segment. The reason Bell well, I mean, doesn't have because a... because Bell's Bite was moving her ass. Because I week. was doing it moving literally, and we moved a lot in a very little time frame. So I did not. If it wasn't your birthday, we would not let this I slide. Know. Just saying, riots yeah. even. This, but this I, is your birthday present. Next week, right? PVP Bell's Bites will be back, uh, doing things, killing people. Those damn demon hunters. I know. I'm not even going to rant about them. I don't even have the energy to rant about them at all whatsoever. Uh, Jimmo, what, Everyone. what did you do this week in World of Warcraft? I do. I started collecting. I should have done more collecting, and I did some, but need to do more. What are you collecting? Uh, rare what items? I or Everything. Hard? I was trying to... People try to look up my pet collection and call <laughs> me out like... Dress. I they... I thought that's what you said. No, I don't wear... No. What? <laughs> what? what is with you today? You are I'm, tired. I told you I'm tired. Well, my pet collection is out on the public. You could Google it. You know what I mean? So some a friend Google of mine, you know, he thing. called me out on my list. I was like, I'm the greatest pet battler ever. Like, I don't have to have everything level 25 and everything. The yes, ones I'm fighting do. with are strong. Eventually, sure, they're all trained. But my, my crazy... Companion pets are crazy. They're gonna kill you. They're tough. So, anyways, I did that. I did some collecting. I went to get my Brawlers Guild invitation, which actually dropped very quickly. I don't know if you guys it took me three kills. Yeah, that's it. Didn't seem long at all. It Rem was, got uh, his like the first kill, and then it took me twenty. Yeah, the first group. Yeah, <laughs> I was really? like, yeah, wow. I was in between those two. I was about. You I know, think we went through every mob on that island too. Yeah. Really? So I did that. I. I didn't get my pet the purpose of actually doing that. It, it was to try it out, but it was more of to get the pet, right? Since Secret Sauce already you has want, it. You want to borrow mine? It was, no. Nah, I don't know if you can unlearn it, actually, but uh, no, that uh, one I, needs I to be so. in my collection. Yeah, probably not. It's probably like Clockham. You can't do right. that. You have to so actually earn I, it. I did that. I set up a business deal with Remedies. He's going to hook me up with the Dredge Ghoul. I am going to give it back, but that will give me my rating with Leisha's achievement, give me access to get another pet and uh, a new pet battle, which will be fun. I'll talk about that next week. Thanks for helping me out, Rem. And uh, yeah, I don't want to level my druid. I said how I don't want to get into alts, but I want the druid pet, so... Uh, you only have to hit 105. Yeah, I'm almost there anyway. So, yeah, I'm just just a regular week in WoW. And, uh, and the Rogue and the Shaman. I know. And those are the two that I think a couple episodes she asked, you know, what Bell asked, what what tunes do we not have at max or whatever in Shaman. And I've got like a level 30 Shaman and I don't have a Rogue, so I'm in trouble. Mm. You want to borrow what one of mine? <laughs> what did you guys know? I wish I could. What'd you guys do? You guys play WoW? Seeker, what'd you do this week in WoW? Um, so raided Nighthold twice, two different guilds. Um, two different guilds is FP raiding. I know, right? What? No, uh, FP raids during my date night, so I can't raid with them. Um, Wayward Enforcers, uh, a lot of the guys that helped out a lot during Hellfire Citadel when we needed extra bodies, um, raided with the guild riders. Uh, nine out of ten, they are as a group, so that's very fantastic. Um, got to see Goldan. I was already leaving because I had to get ready for the show, you know. Um, made I a know. new friend, friends list, a nice. viewer. Uh, you got a, you got a, you got a viewer. A I do. Viewer, viewer request, you know, secret sauce. I want you as my homie. So, um, guild name. What is it? Write these things down. No, 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 no. Yeah, you hush your mouth. You're really good at this. Um, 
it was basically along the lines of like we'll we'll let the raid the raid wiper we'll oh we'll wipe the raid that's the name of the guild um fantastic group ran some mythic pluses with them um pretty much all morning and leveled alts actually which is kind of funny uh the paladin 106 hunters 105 Damn. with rad he's in guild so that's been my my alt buddy uh whenever i get to play so I'm actually pretty pumped, you know, getting to do all these other things. Professions are the last thing I'm thinking about right now because those are a pain in the ass. So I just want to get to get to 110. Well, I, you'll you know, level that organically as you're, you know. Yeah, it, that's why I'm not really worried about it. I mean, Blood of Sargeras is basically going to give me free stuff pretty soon anyways. And yeah. Order resources. Um, your yeah. followers and your champions look pretty powerful. Uh, I, I know you showed screenshots of them. Do you think... We'll be making a lot of gold when you guys have all your alts up and your guys as strong as those ones, similar to last expansion. I mean, I, w- I would say it's it's a possibility due to the fact that I have stuff in my bags that give additional gold. Yeah. Because you know, there's going to be a time where I'm not going to want resources and I'm just going to be getting free gold. And I think right now I could get about 100 gold per world quest right now. For, well, and, uh, but you also like pass your missions by like two hundred percent, so you get like the the follower I always, quest I like seven hundred gold bonus, the bonus yeah. on it. Yeah, so that had me I'd thinking. I'd probably buy class. food mats, make food. Yeah, I what? mean, I'm I'm gonna slowly start. I I know I should have been doing this a while ago, but yeah, slowly start donating to the guild because you know I do use the mats. I still use the pots and the flask and you know the food. So you know it's my turn to give back and you know, and I. On top of that, the closer, I did spend about 40k on a one trinket for my hunter. <laughs> so, <laughs> why not, right? Why not? For while you're leveling? Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. Dang. It's an 835 trinket with Apparently, a people actually do that. They have a 101, and they get, like, max level stats, and they just sit there and run people through dungeons for gold. Yeah. Hmm. Might do that. Interesting. Uh, mm. Rem, mm. I know you didn't have like too much of a week in WoW because you spent. <laughs> yeah, his week in WoW was that in your you world. You spent a lot of it here and you didn't bring the PC. It was literally carrying things around. I was sad when you left. I was like, you should have brought your computer. You could have just done the show from the house. I had work early in the AM. So... I mean, it rained all day anyway, but I was like, oh. it's, it was so great. Oh, my God. Did you Why have you any? Uh, California was oh. in a drought for a long time. Shit, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we still are. Just, um, I know. Did you do any accomplishments before you came down here? Um, mostly world quests and mythics. A uh, yeah, with the raid it went really well. Nine to ten. We'll kill the Gul'dan next week. Grats um, is pretty good. That was today? Also, I wanted to mention... Huh? Yeah? Was it today? Nice. Sorry, go ahead. You wanted to mention? Um, in 7.2, about... for I lost the the, the winder, but uh, there's new um, order hall upgrades. There's going to be two new tiers. Oh, yeah. I forgot oh, to nice. mention. The last one's like 30,000 order resources. I have 20 right now without even breaking a sweat, so that's good. Good that Fine. people should save them, though. That's good that you mentioned it, so people of can, course, yeah. can make sure. And there's no cap. Goes. It, it. I kind of figured that was going to come anyways, because you know usually yeah. Garrison Resources had a cap. You know what was it? Uh, 10k. It was 10k. Or, yeah. Yeah, and so there's no there's no there's no cap at all for order hall resources. So I that was kind of make money off my epic. Garrison. I forgot with the order hall resources. I still collect my 500 every day. And I go in and I buy the extra mats. I still sell Warlords of Draenor mats for people that are leveling nice. their professions. Some fewest fur. Oh, they, all ever. day, literally all day long, I make tons Probably of money. have slightly gone up a little bit, I guess. Yeah, they because have. a lot of people don't yeah. work that market. You got to work it. Right. No, Ram, before you Sit. even. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew where you were going with that. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was going to finish the song. <laughs> uh. Anything else fun? Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. 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 No. 
I am going to be really honest. I did not get a whole lot of game time. Even before the move, there was packing and me crying that I didn't want to do stuff. I didn't want to pack. I didn't want to move. I didn't want to do any of it. Uh, so I didn't get... I literally was off Bertha for like three days. It was very traumatizing. Mm -hmm. oh, I, even I saw pictures of you. You and Rem either were in the same car, but you had Bertha all seat belted yep. in and bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Should have had me do it. Amazonian way. It was Amazonian. Pretty well protected, and I had Rem carry it everywhere because I like I didn't want to carry Bertha and then drop Bertha. She's like, oh, I'm like falling. Nothing. Yeah, he carried her, every and then people were what? like, somebody said on Twitter, "Why would you put a seatbelt on your computer?" I do that. Oh my! Why wouldn't you? Uh -oh. You put your precious possessions in the forms of your children and pets in seatbelts. Why wouldn't you put your three thousand dollar computer in there? And then Mafala was like, that computer doesn't even look that cool. It looks like every other computer. And I'm like, you don't say that. Bertha will hear you. <laughs> so funny. Bertha will break down. I know. She's emotional. But I didn't get a lot of game time. I was really sad. I picture you having shorter arms, too. Like, you couldn't even, like, wrap around Bertha. Like, you couldn't. Yeah, well, like... I mean, the computer case is almost bigger than her. Right? Listen, I'm a real tough individual, but I don't do manual labor, guys. I do <laughs> not. Know? That is why I married my husband, because he does not mind that I don't do manual labor. He does. He, he his does middle it name as, is Manual. He just does not mind it, and he does not, like, force <laughs> that upon me. I am an organizer and a doer, but I'm not a heavy lifter. So I didn't Dude. help. I did not move whatsoever. I mean, I helped when they brought the stuff in, but I, that's not my, so you, I admit So it. what you're saying is you didn't pack your own shit? No, I packed and I, I am unpacking, okay. but I did not do the physical moving. Okay. Like we Fair did, enough. we formed like a line. This is way off topic, but we formed like a line because it was raining. We had to move in the pouring thunderstorm rain. Oh, so bullshit. we didn't want, because it's all tile, we knew we were going to, they, they would eat shit bringing in stuff on the tile. So what we did is we put blankets on the floor and then we had two yeah. people unloading, two people standing by the front door and they would just hand off the stuff. There so that way it was like a, yeah. a little By the way, line. everyone still fell. I mean, I did. Everyone still fell, including And Dom oh fell. Gosh. So I did the like splits. Fell? I did, yeah. way, way off topic, but me and Dom were bringing in the washers and dryer and he goes to pull it up and he's not paying attention and his ass <laughs> hits the tile so quick and i go to catch it and i grab like because you know the bottom of it is Would like catch metal. Ass? no no <laughs> oh, okay okay that's that's an explosive device that anyways is that is nuclear because you okay. know the shell of a dishwasher i'm assuming you know uh secret is yeah. like it's sheet metal oh yeah like if you grab it it's cut in your hand and oh, i cut my i up. bled all over a floor and everything he, i felt he that bled. Oh, he man. still cleaned up blood yesterday he was like what is that and i'm like i'm pretty sure it's Donovan's blood if you I need extra gloves blood. i'll get them from work and, you know, I'll just help you out. I, I, they're in my work truck. I just the day after them. the move, there was not a speck of rain in sight. It was like sunny. The birds were out. And we were, oh, we yeah, were sitting yeah. on the back porch. And we were like, this is horse shit. Great day in Azeroth. Right oh, there. it was a bad time. So, ladies and germs, ladies and gents, I believe it is about that time for us to bid you adieu. I know the show was sure. a little shorter than normal. I'm this be is really, the shortest uh, it's it ever really been. It really is, and I'm going to be really ever. honest and give full disclosure, guys. I am exhausted and literally cannot sit here any Sometimes longer. we need shows like this, though. Like I agree. Well, we had a lot of content, though. We gave a lot of, right. you know. I was domestic today, guys. I got up at 630 yeah. and did the mother thing with the school I, and did yeah. all the stuff, so... We're quality. Yeah, you guys really can't see, but I got a sunburn. I was actually, I've been out of the <laughs> house all week. I've been out of the house more this week than I ever have, but my whole, I'm sunburnt right here. I'm pretty sure like the bring past it up, five but, years, yeah. I was going to bring it up because you said that before the show, but then I looked, I'm like, she doesn't look that tan, so I didn't want to bring it no, up. No, it's not, now. it's it's like I, I went to <laughs> go see if burnt. I needed to put stuff on my yeah. face to make me look less dead, and I was like, ooh, I have a sunburn. It's nice. Mm. So. You can't see it because my lighting in here is terrible. I'll fix that. I know it looks like I have jaundice. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. We all can't be white like Jim. Ooh, oh, his camera is perfect. Oh, like, it's exactly. literally perfect. It? Yes. That's because he has nothing in that room. That's Truth. True. No desk. No Guys, nothing. if you need no more information, <laughs> comment on the show. If you need raid information, comment on the show. You need pet battle information, comment on the show. If you are an audio listener, send me a tweet. Send us a tweet. Send me an email. Let's be... Let's do things. 
Hashtag grinder. Just kidding. We're going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys, before I say any more embarrassing things because there you it's go. past what the What you do. No <laughs> well, fuck it. We're going to get on out of here. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Love y'all. Tell everyone to tweet their taco pictures because I was asking last week. Like, where's... The, I never asked this question. Where's all the you cheese? Where's shredded cheese in the tacos? No, the, the shredded cheese depends on the type of taco. Right. So when it comes to, like, your basic carne asada with cheese and tomato sauce, I opt out of the cheese. If I'm doing, like, maybe a shredded beef, you have to have cheese. So the type of meat and the way that the taco's prepared does matter on whether or not yeah. cheese. There's a little bit of taco do, history. Do you guys still go to that place? I'm pretty sure that's where he got my tacos.